What's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day and had a fantastic weekend. So I apologize for not putting up any, any videos in the last couple of days. I just got back into town from Oklahoma City, had to go visit some family, and it always makes me nervous leaving the snakes for an extended period of time. Even though they are extremely low, low maintenance and they really don't need anything special, I always stress myself out and think that the room temperatures are gonna go too high and they're gonna die, or they're gonna go too low and they're gonna die, or I forgot to close one of the tubs up. Now the room is pretty much snake proof on escaping, uh, but we don't want snakes just going everywhere. <laughs> so the whole time I was just kinda like, what's going on with my animals? But came back just a little bit ago, uh, checking on some animals and I have more snakes that I do need to check on, so we'll do that on this uh, little episode type of a thing. But Oklahoma was pretty good. Uh, just was there basically to see family. Uh, didn't really have any plans on going anywhere or exploring, but we went to the Oklahoma City Zoo, which was, it was all right, but they have two amazing reptile buildings. One's the main reptile building and then they have other reptiles connected to another area but they probably have at least 60 or something uh snakes and lizards and all this other stuff down there but it was really cool to see a ton of venomous stuff bunch of different rattlesnakes pit vipers cobras uh they did have two uh they had one retic so they had two different types of animals that i normally don't see at zoos they had the retic and then they had a green anaconda which was awesome to see uh, so I would say both of them were around the 12 foot range, maybe a little less or a little more. Uh, both of them were very well fed, but it was really cool just to see something different uh, in enclosures and stuff like that. And they weren't like crazy outdone themselves for them because they wanted people to see them. Uh, so it was cool to see that. And then of course on the plaques above both of them, they got like the information on, on the animals and both of them said, 30 plus feet <laughs> so potential uh normal size or whatever it was but it's just like why nowadays and i don't know why people have that misinformation on there it's like neither one of them get 30 feet but good job misinforming the public and scaring people and making people not want to own these animals any more than they already don't want to but if you're in the oklahoma city area and you want to see some awesome reptiles at a zoo for pretty cheap uh definitely check that out um so we got some snakes that so far have gone into shed gone out of shed the molly came out of shed uh, the burmese nothing really special is happening with her but i did come back with no water so it was my fault on not giving her enough for four days but she seems to be doing pretty well and probably a little hungry because she's kind of doing the I want food mode coming out looking for something to eat so she can hang out in there for a little bit I don't want to take her out well not with one hand at least so let's just check out some of these snakes see how they're doing all right so I got to clean I gotta clean her cage out just a little bit and I've been dumping all the poop in here and that's where I mean when it's clean it's not clean now but I normally clean it, soap it out, and then I put all my rats in there weekly, the live rats that I feed to the ball pythons. And I forgot to feed one last week or something happened and I come back and there's a dead rat in there. So it smelled horrible and there's poop four days in here in a lot of these cages. Uh, so I don't know why, but I got these little gnats flying around, which is disgusting. Actually, it's not disgusting. Well, it is disgusting. It's just more annoying than anything else. But so this is a year old black Mexican king. This lady right here is doing really well. I love these snakes. Solid black, black eyes, no patterns on them anywhere. They just look really, really cool. And she's eating a variety of quail and mice or wrap ups, just depending on what I want to feed her. So these, I think every king snake is basically just like a garbage disposal. So Pop Tart is in the back there and surprisingly she didn't poop in her water but i guarantee she's gonna poop in it now that i'm home see i don't know why she didn't i fed her oh uh, like a week ago maybe two weeks ago so she should have 
need it to go. And I'll check around in her cage off camera. But this guy right here just shed when I was gone. So it's a male, it's a mahogany pied. Looking really nice. Really cool markings and patterns. Kind of a 50-50 split, but it's nice to see some patterns on some of the pieds even though I do like high white pites. Some of the jeans do not throw the high whites or they're just like a random uh, pattern on them. But it is what it is. I gotta fully clean this guy out. So this is the new one, the leopard yellow belly clown. I got this one like a day or two before I left and I should have told Justin to, just to hang on to him and send it when I got back home. Can we focus? Kind of. But this guy's really, really cool looking. Awesome markings. I love the black and the white. Or the black and the yellow, I should say. So, a little stressed because he was very new to the room. Didn't know how, how he would handle the change or the temperatures or something like that. Uh, but, he's alive and that is all that matters. Um, we have the Fire Enchi Clown. She's doing good. I did, She doesn't have any water just because I most of the stuff that's in there is from this because she dumped this and it soaked everything for the last couple of days. So it was really disgusting. And she pooped in there. So that made it even worse. Um, so that was, my, I mean, they do tip their water like this and then it floods it. So I need to, so I need to get some better, uh, bowls. Sometimes when I do three or four, they do pretty well. And then I have the hide in here to kind of trap it. And then when they get bigger or after a certain amount of meals or a month, I'll just put them in the, in the rack system and they'll, they'll do pretty well. So this is a couple month old female pastel pied, which is really nice looking, very, very high pattern and low white on her so i think the i think the pastels can throw high and low whites if i'm not mistaken the banana pied she is in shed again she's growing very quickly uh, now that she's been on rats for a very since she was born here is the snow he's looking really good And let's not close you in there. There we go. Let's move this light back just a little bit. So the Guyana is in shed, deep shed. So I'm gonna mist her cage down because she normally has really bad sheds. And so I'll, I'll mist her down for the next week just to help that out. IMG Motley is back in the shed. Look at those eyes, crazy. So they can't really see very well or if anything, so they go off of their other senses. So a lot of people don't like to handle their snakes when they're in shed like this because it could stress them out because they don't know what's going on. Um, so in a, in a couple days, she should clear up and then by the end of the week or into next week, she should, or he, sorry, it's a male. He should shed. Um, and hopefully changes darker. I know he's not that old, but um, I just want him to be black like right now. <laughs> and though it could take up to a year or more, just like this lady right here is a IMG Molly. Uh, she's got hypo and jungle in her, but I got her in the winter of 2021 and she was dark, but she's getting darker, but she's still not solid black. As you can see on her tail, it's pretty red and then you can see a lot of the patterns in through here nice black markings on her face though so i don't know if she's going to go jet black or not not every img goes jet black um, some do just have a black hue to them and then some do go solid black so you never know what you're going to get this is the img vpi so she's 
beginning of 2021 and she's starting to darken up. I think this is at the darkest that she's going to get because she has the IMG, or sorry, because she has the VPI, the albino gene in there. So they're kind of fighting each other on that. Um, this is the orange dream leopard uh, and she pied and this guy is looking this guy always looks good kind of wondering what he's gonna look like as an adult because I don't want him to fade out too much and then we'll just look at one more the IMG or sorry the jungle hypo uh, pastel she came out of shit a couple weeks ago uh, so Growing up slowly but surely with her. And the Superfly clown. This girl always looks good. Really, really nice looking. So that is it. Uh, I'll go through the rest of these and then I'll take you guys along when I clean out all of the bigger boas and check on the anacondas and stuff like that. So. Um, on that, I really appreciate the support. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you guys on the next video.